Imagine you are now on the Martian surface and you attempt to breathe there without the life-sustaining oxygen supply of a spacesuit. The outcome would be an immediate fatality. You would die. Due to the exceedingly low atmospheric pressure, your blood would also start to boil simultaneously. We are embarking on a fascinating journey to unravel one of the biggest mysteries. Could people actually breathe the air on Mars? Strap in, because this is going to be an interplanetary adventure that you will not want to miss. Mars, often referred to as the Red Planet, has an atmosphere like Earth. But both differ significantly from the familiar experiences we encounter on Earth. It's thin, really thin. About 100 times thinner than what we breathe here. Earth's atmosphere comprises 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, 1.0% argon, and 0.04% carbon dioxide. There are also trace amounts of various other gases. But the Martian atmosphere is mainly composed of 95% carbon dioxide, 3% nitrogen, and 1.6% argon. It also contains traces of oxygen, carbon monoxide, water, methane, and other gases, in addition to a substantial quantity of dust. Meanwhile, dust is another problem on the Martian surface. The presence of suspended dust in the atmosphere makes the Martian skies tan. This does not sound promising for breathable air, but we cannot jump to conclusions just yet. Keep watching to find out why. Now, let's get to the heart of the matter. Oxygen. We, humans, need a good dose of oxygen to keep us going. On Earth, oxygen makes up around 21% of the atmosphere. But on Mars, it is a mere 0.13%. That's, well, quite a difference. So you might be wondering, could we pack a few oxygen tanks and call it a day? Not so fast. The challenge lies not only in the low levels of oxygen, but also in the thin atmosphere. The atmosphere makes it tricky for our bodies to actually absorb that oxygen. But where there is a will, there is a way. Scientists and engineers have been cooking up some seriously cool ideas to make Mars more hospitable. From massive biodomes that mimic Earth's atmosphere to ingenious devices that extract oxygen from Mars's soil. There is no shortage of creative thinking. While these solutions sound incredible, they are still in the works. So, could people breathe the air on Mars in the future? Let's dive deep into some possible ways. One approach is to extract oxygen from the carbon dioxide in the Martian atmosphere. This could be possible through a process called in situ resource utilization or shortly ISRU. Mars has a thin atmosphere composed primarily of carbon dioxide. But hidden within this Martian air is the key to creating life-sustaining oxygen. Here is how it works. The process called ISRU is forefront. In this case, focusing on Mars's atmosphere is needed. Step one involves collecting Martian air, primarily composed of carbon dioxide. Special equipment on the Martian surface does this job. Step two takes place inside a reactor. The collected Martian carbon dioxide undergoes a chemical transformation. During this process, oxygen molecules are separated from carbon dioxide molecules. The extracted oxygen is then released and stored for use by astronauts in the Mars habitat. The result? Astronauts on Mars can breathe oxygen, just like on Earth. This breakthrough technology not only provides a breathable atmosphere, but also reduces the need to transport vast amounts of oxygen from Earth this makes Mars colonization more sustainable. There could also be potential use of water ice on Mars as a source of oxygen. In this regard, one remarkable method involves a process called electrolysis. We know that two hydrogen and one oxygen exist on Mars in the form of water ice. Mars rovers equipped with drills are essential for this task, extracting water ice from beneath the Martian surface. Now, the magic begins with electrolysis. This process takes place inside a device called an electrolyzer. Inside the electrolyzer, water is introduced and an electric current is applied. 
The electrical current causes water molecules to split into their component elements, hydrogen and oxygen. The oxygen produced during this process is then collected, purified and stored for astronauts to breathe. This stored oxygen can be released into the habitat, creating a breathable atmosphere for astronauts. Another innovative solution involves harnessing the power of biology to produce life-sustaining oxygen. Specifically, plants or algae are crucial in this case. Photosynthesis is the key. It is the way plants use sunlight to convert carbon dioxide into oxygen and glucose. First, introducing these oxygen-producing life forms to Mars is needed. Mars rovers play a crucial role in delivering plant seeds or algae to specially designed greenhouses. Inside these Martian greenhouses, astronauts provide the necessary care, ensuring the plants receive adequate light, nutrients, and water. As the plants or algae grow, they perform photosynthesis, releasing oxygen into the greenhouse atmosphere. An air circulation system then collects and purifies this oxygen. It's subsequently released into the Mars habitat, creating a breathable atmosphere for astronauts. All right, let's talk about spacesuits. If you're dreaming of strolling on the Martian surface, a trusty spacesuit is your best friend. An astronaut present on Mars would not have the capability to breathe the native Martian atmosphere. They would demand a spacesuit equipped with oxygen in order to conduct outdoor activities. High-tech suits are designed to protect astronauts from Mars' harsh conditions, including its thin atmosphere and extreme temperatures. They provide a cozy little environment with oxygen to breathe and everything. So, while you cannot exactly take a deep breath of Martian air, you could definitely explore the wonders of the Red Planet with the right gear. From innovative technologies to the magic of well-designed spacesuits, humans are pushing the boundaries of exploration. So can we breathe the air on Mars? Not quite, but who knows what the future holds? As we look to the stars, extracting oxygen from Martian resources is a crucial step toward turning Mars into a new home for humanity. If you have enjoyed this cosmic adventure, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications.